why New Orleans? I signed up for this thing at about two and a half minutes after the email. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's been the longest two months waiting for this thing to actually get here. I'm just yeah. so excited. Great. For me, it's kind of an opportunity to come full circle. Um, when I was a student at the Mount Hurricane Katrina hit, and um, I love family down here, so I was severely affected and had to rebuild. And um, so I did the relief efforts on campus. So for me, it's kind of an opportunity to be down here and really kind of do everything full circle. Not just send donations down, but come down and you know really put my blood, sweat, and tears into it. So I'm kind of excited about that. You can always, by chances, uh, work at a bake sale through this or do that, but I, I think, um, for me, it's just, I can, while I still can, I come down and physically give. I thought too, I've always wanted to do something like this, and in this transition time, I mean, I expected to have more free time to volunteer, and so I'm exploring different ways to where that can happen. Something I've wanted to do for a long time, and um, I've done some stuff with Habitat and you know, other kinds of work like this, but I wanted to come on a trip like this. Being in the first year as the Dean of Students at the Mount, I thought it really important for me, working with the students, to be able to come and see how the mission lives. And I've never done a service trip before. And it just is the week between spring classes and summer classes, so it's the, the one week that we do it. Nice to be able to go out and actually see what that mission is um, firsthand. Um. You know, as a student, I started the Hurricane Katrina relief efforts the day after Katrina hit. I was at Sister Mary Bookster's door waiting for her and said, what are we doing? What's the plan? You know, how about this, 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 and this? And I said, okay, well, let's do it. Let's start it up. Um, so for me, I, you know, I, I basically said, you know, for me, this is an opportunity to get that full circle. Full circle. Not only, you know, bringing down donations and, and food and water and, and even monetary donations, um, but to come back and put some blood, sweat, and tears into the city. Um, so I definitely fulfilled my life. Felt, felt a desire and responsibility to feel, to more deeply understand and allow myself to be touched and changed and moved to action by bringing myself face to face with the suffering and gifts of people whose needs are so much greater than my own. And, you know, I just believe so passionately in the mission of the Mount. <laughs> I really always have. Um, this is where I need to be. This is where I belong. And I've just always felt that, you know, since I've been at the Mount. And so, um, you know, the more that I can bring that to my students and my classes and, you 
you know, and, and kind of, you know, doing something like this, I think just really brings it to life for each of us, and then we can bring that back to the And what really attracted me uh, to the Mount as well was this unique mission-driven institution and what we can do to make the world a better place as a result of that. And so, you know, I've talked a bit about if we all give back to the world, it can be a better place, and I truly believe that. And I really saw it happening here, and we can take that with us no matter where we are. We can hear about the mission, you know, there's copies of the mission available. When you come down here, you can actually see people. You know, it's like, okay, this is a good time and place. And then to take this back with you, and to go back, and, and you know, you've got a summer to kind of reflect before the students come back, but it's a, a time to really say, okay, now I remember why I choose to work at the College of Mount St. Joseph. It's because this, this is what we believe in, this is how we operate on a daily basis. It's a great opportunity. Across the street, or around the world.